Hi. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to download documents. Let's go ahead. We're in our HR team site and we want to move to our documents library. Now, we don't have very many documents in this document library right now, but we have a folder for contracts and there are more files in there. Now, let's say that we want to download one of these contracts because we're going to print it out and give it to somebody. Let's say we want the computer service contract. Let's go ahead and let's select that. Now, there's a couple of ways that we can download these documents. Of course, you know, being Microsoft, there's always more than one way to perform an action. The first thing we're going to do is select that document and come up here to the top and you'll see that we have a big download button. So let's go ahead and let's click that. We're going to click there and see what happens. This window popped up at the bottom. Now, I'm using the Microsoft Edge browser. And if you're using a different browser like, say, Chrome or Safari, you might have a little bit of a different experience here. It might look a little bit different. There may be some different options. But for the most part, you're going to get a similar box. And you'll see what it's doing is asking me, what do we want to do with this contract? Do I want to simply open it? No. Do I want to save it? Yes, that is what I want to do. And I could cancel the whole operation if I want. But if I click on save, what's going to happen is it will download this document right into my downloads folder. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I know that. And I'll know that's where it's going to be. But you see this little arrow here? If I click that, I get some different options. I can choose to save or save as. Now what save as is going to do is give me the opportunity to save this document with a different name and if I want to save it in a different place somewhere other than my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on that and you see what happens is it opened up my Windows Explorer right to the downloads folder. Now like I said that's okay, but what I would really like to do is save it into my Documents folder. So I'm going to click on the Documents folder in my Windows Explorer, and I have the file name. Now, I could go ahead and I could change this name if I wanted to. I don't necessarily want to. I just wanted to change the place where it was saved. So I'm going to go ahead and simply click on Save, and you see it now says that it has finished downloading. And if I click on open folder, it'll open up my Windows Explorer to that documents folder. And there we see that contract. And now I can do whatever I need to do with it here from my computer. Now, like I said, there's more than one way to go ahead and download a document. Let's take the cleaning contract this time. And you'll see once it's selected, I've got my ellipses here, my show actions. And if I click there... I have the download button here as well. And if I click there, I get the same options again. So this time I'm simply going to click on save. And it is finished downloading. So I'm going to open the folder and you'll see that this time it saved it to the downloads folder. So now you know how to download documents from a SharePoint document library. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you next time.